Hello everybody, and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing Echelon Book 1. I think I've tried to play this game a couple times, but I never tried actually recording it. And when I said try playing this game, I mean, I feel like it was kind of hard, and I think it's like a permadeath situation. So if you die, you die, you die. And, uh... <clears throat> but I decided to try and give it a shot on the channel, and let's see what happens. Um, for... I had to change some settings around to get this display a little better looking, and it wasn't really recording correctly. Um, because um, I'm not 100% sure how it is scaling to my monitor. Um, I'm having the... Um, what do you call it? Having Dextery handling recording at 800 by 600 and so hopefully that will cut out the correct spot I don't know I don't think it cuts out here but I'm thinking it's going to look better that way it's not really cutting it out I think it's hopefully capturing it before it's, it's the stretched out onto my monitor and it might look a little better now I haven't recorded a game in quite some time it's been like maybe a month which is the longest I have uh, went without recording in quite a bit uh, a lot of contributing factors to that I've been working a shit ton every Saturday and for like the last two to three weeks I've been working in, on Sundays as well so I've had very little time to do anything extra with myself and so it wearing me out, especially at the point where I got myself a self-induced sinus infection. Now, you might ask yourself, how do you self-induce a sinus infection? Apparently, if you blow your hard, nose hard enough, you'll actually be able to have stuff go up into your sinuses and, you know, it, and it eventually gets infected. Um, I kind of felt like I had, I wasn't able to breathe out my nose, like, at all. So I was like, alright, I can't deal with this anymore. Well, I got whatever was, uh, pretty much in there out, and then slowly an infection started taking place. And luckily I caught it soon enough that it's been maybe a week, and I'm getting a little better. But I might still take my prescriptions and whatnot to make sure I knock that out completely because um, it sucks it sucks when you're working and you got your throat feels swelled up because your lymph nodes and all that stuff and um, there was like a phantom smell which was like the first thing that that between my lymph nodes swelling up and my the, a phantom smell I was like what the hell is that smell it smells like crap um, went took a shower still smell it that's when you know something's up your whole, your whole house doesn't smell like that so i don't know all right what are we going to name our adventure we're going to be uh norlanders hail from the north land expanse and arctic air of permanent frost and glaciers Norla norlanders are of hardy build and are famous for their ability to survive in conditions where most people would quickly succumb to death. As such, Norlanders receive a plus two endurance and one concentration. <sighs> I don't think I want to read all these. I'm going to kind of look for... I want to go for just a, the average fighter build. I don't really get a healer by yourself, but... Uh, looks like this one's got two speed and strength. And that kind of sounds like the way I want to go. So, Varians hail from the vast desolation of Baria. Uh, Baria? I'm not 100% sure how to sp uh, pronounce that. Far to the west. It's a region of desert and scrubland, where even a simple living requires a great deal of work. Varians tend to be lean and swift, and can travel immense distances in a short amount of time. Varians receive a plus two speed and plus one strength. Alright, now we have our 
basic belief system which opposes a certain advantage and disadvantage to your character. The atheist has their mind grounded in observable truths. They simply do not believe in any higher spiritual power. Because of this, they are immune to effects of curses. However, this also makes them immune to the effects of blessings and altruistic healing from cleric. Um, agnostic person generally believes in some sort of higher power on a personal level, but it balances this belief with observable truths and grounded ideals. Being generally balanced, they receive neither bonuses nor penalties. Um... Well, honestly, I am agnostic in um, real life. I don't believe in any sort of higher power, but I leave the possibility there. I'm going to see it, then I'll believe it. Show the proof. Um, fighter. Sorry if that hurts anybody's feelings. But, you know, not everybody feels the same, and you got to keep yourself open. Generally, that just means that I'm uh, I'm highly tolerant of everybody's beliefs. Just don't push it on me. I don't care. Let's see, we will have. Honestly, this doesn't really change anything anyway. All right, we'll be that guy. All right, we got some skills here. I don't know how many. Oh, okay, skill points. We could spend them on these apparently, and these are separate. These are uh, attribute points. Um, um, deals with protection of potions, elixirs through the mixing of reactants and regents. The higher your skill is in alchemy, the more potent a mixture you can create. Master alchemists may also learn the process of applying these mixtures to weapons and armor, imbuing them with extra abilities. Alright, well, I want swords. Trying to see how the points are spent. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, kind of like a bow is like a secondary, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I think we'll not have that. Yeah. All right, if we do a future run. Survival is the ability to dress wounds and utilize common herbs for faster recovery of hit points, as well as increase in resistance to toxins and diseases. Um, spot hidden a skill is ability of set, uh, passively spot hidden items, doors, traps, and abnormalities. The skill is com complemented by the perception attribute. Um, I think I want that one. I don't want to run into traps. It's a mechanical understanding of traps and trickery and ability to effectively disarm them. Mm hmm Cartography is the ability to accurately map your soundings as you explore. Oh, that one sounds good. Armor heavy. Shields. Shit. See, yeah, that's, that's what gets you. But I think I want like all these. I think I'd rather have them in here because I don't know if you could level them up as you go without them being available. I do want alchemy. And I think we do need shields. But I would like a... Uh... Oh shit. No. Oh, even with that one off, we can't get it. Must cost three, I bet, right? Let me see. Yep, it costs three to put a new one in. So I gotta get rid of something. Pick lock sounds like it is a very good idea to have. But. It's kind of hard to say, because if we don't. That will keep us alive better if we don't run into traps. But if we can't disarm them, it kind of takes away a little bit. This is a uh, character build for the most part at the moment. I will see um, how long this takes and I might 
to start a second um, episode just for that. Right. For, you know, having this as its own. Um, so, alright, I think we need to get rid of that. I kind of want alchemy, but we need a shield skill. Um, lore, I'm not, lore's ability to identify the strange items you discover on your journeys, intelligence and wisdom complement the skill. Those aren't going to be very high skill things. That one, I'll get rid of it, even though it's something I kind of want. So we got five points. Basically got, I think, all the combat things that I actually want. Uh, move silently. We're going to have probably heavy armor, so I'm not going to deal with that. I kind of want that one. Alright, and let's give an extra to dodge. And that is... Your opponent is thrown off balance, granting a 10%. Oh, okay, whatever. Um. <sighs> Jesus. Do we have survival before? Uh, it's for mana points, I don't care. Dodge. Shields, heavy armor. And then one more. The on screen auto map does not work unless you have at least one point in the cartography skill. That sounds very useful. But I want alchemy. I want one of those. Oh my god. Alright. We're gonna get rid of our ability to see traps. So we have a better map. Um, and I think we're going to go with... Um... I should have rolled this a few more times. Yeah, that's... No, I don't want to. No min-maxing. Okay, don't click this. That will be, um, bad. This better not- this is gonna fuck this up, isn't it? Varian... Agnostic... Fighter. But yeah, really high speed, which is cool. Um, let's give ourselves. Let's look at our actual, um, things. This one doesn't look like it actually uses- this uses strength and speed. We have super high street, uh, speed. Mm, this looks like it doesn't actually take any bonuses from your attributes. It doesn't look like any of these really use it. Um, so I'm going to put the bulk into strength. And endurance. Measure how our character can endure physical trauma, poisons, disease, and fatigue. It is a critical foundation by your character's maximum hit points and all resistance scores. Whoops. Serious critical in your character's two hit rating and his base armor rating, as well as skills such as bows, throwing weapons, and picking locks. Um. There we go. That's what we're going with. And I think for the name, I think I might have. Um, probably every game start out with Billip. Oh, shit. Um, alchemy. Mm -hmm. We could actually get another one. We got alchemy already. Get cartography. Dodge weapons and swords. Ah. 
<sighs> Survival sounds good. I think spot hidden might be the way to go. Like I said before, I don't want to run over traps. Um, right exit the character editor. Yes, let's do this. Let's get going. Let's get into this game. Let's start playing. You open your eyes, your head is aching, and you immediately realize you have no idea where you are. The only thing you can remember about last night is a terrible storm. Lack of night cut with flashes of light. And you remember something movement... Something. Movement in the darkness. Shadowy presence. Slowly begin to realize that you have no memory of anything before the storm of last evening. Fact. You have no idea who you even are. It takes much effort before you are able to remember even the most personal information about yourself. Your name. For a moment, you are relieved to have remembered anything at all. But alas, your relief is short-lived as you look around and assess your situation. Or asses your situation. You are standing in a strange house in an unknown location. Having little more than your name in your possession. That is all. Now, this game is a little bit on the retro looking side. And it's not very old, I don't believe. I can't remember when this one came out. But they're going for... You know, when they made this game, it's kind of like... It was Obsidian when they made Pillars of Eternity. You know, they're... They didn't need 3D models and all that stuff. They're going for a game. A little more retro and feel, but kind of big in depth, if that makes any sense. All right, basically we got a chest here. Oh, we got a dagger and a note. Wait, can you see a basic chest constructed of hardwood with bands of copper? Iron dagger added to your inventory along with the sealed note. Um, I wonder, you could take torches, is something I actually do remember. Okay. Philip, you don't know who I am, but I know who you are. I'm sure you are very confused right now, but you must gather yourself quickly. I've hidden a few basic supplies for you. They are out back near the well. Hopefully you'll remember the secret spot. You need to find a man named Madoc in the village of Aradel. Which is just a short walk northeast of here. He'll know you. Uh, he'll know who you are, and he's been instructed to give you a small package upon your arrival. Be careful. Sand has been befouled and is not safe. If you wish to live, I suggest you stay on the main roads and pass. Do not wander. E. The name Maddock means nothing to you, nor does the initial E. With nothing else to go on. Perhaps finding this person named Maddock will be your best chance to make sense of this confusion. Um, I'm gonna move this down here and we could equip this I believe I remember very few things but I believe we might actually be getting a does this get all right I don't think you can move with the keys all right you step outside the walls of the dilapidated house and breathe deeply the air is humid Still, saturated from last night's rain. Although you do not recognize the area around you, it seems strangely familiar. The ghostly remnants of nearby abandoned buildings look overgrown and unwelcoming. Stand for just a minute and take it in, hoping that something will trigger an avalanche of memories to crash through and make sense of all this. But nothing comes to you as at the moment. As of moment. Um, we got some extra torches in the barrel. And here's the well. Uh, there's a rope going down the well. Pull it up. Hmm. I thought it's got smelly water. This place seems increasingly familiar to you. Yes, you've been here before. Somehow you know this area, yet it's strange. So you become gradually more confident that you recognize your surroundings. You feel as if any remaining, remaining memory of your own identity seemed to be slipping away evermore. We have healing potions, mana potions... And an iron short sword with leather sandals. So we got our first armor. There we go. 
Um, we are unskilled with leather armor, but we are skilled with um, swords. We just need a shield and some heavy armor, and we'll be good to go. And we could bring up a map. That's not a map, that's a spell journal. Hmm. I really don't know how that works, actually. You have about the camp time will advance rapidly. Only they gain hit points and mana points quicker. Press escape. They tend to end resting. The longer you rest, the greater chance you have of being caught by a random encounter. So that's kind of neat. Yeah, that's the that's that. Here's our stuff. Max damage is nine plus zero. To hit ability is four. We're uh, pretty resilient. About the same to everything, but we got a little edge to toxins probably because of our um, in high endurance or higher endurance. Our ratings five. Um, and those are our skills. I don't know exactly how they level up, and I thought we had a map. I don't remember how to bring up map. I guess it's just this. Um, as you see, you can see it's a little cruder, but you actually get no map if you didn't have any cart cartography skill. And um, if you only had one point in it, it's rougher than that. Now, um, I believe he, the letter said northeast. Let's double check. Northeast, yes. Okay. So I'll follow the path here. And it's kind of wise to adhere to that. Like I said, this game is not very forgiving. Um, I don't know if this lizard is going to see us. And it has. Um... Well, it takes pink salamander to hit probably 54%. Yeah, we got a good hit on it. Let's check inside the ruins here. Nothing. Nothing useful. Um, this town is clearly suffered a ca ca catastrophic event. Some of the buildings are burned out. Others have appeared to have succumbed to neglect after being abandoned. You notice remnants of war lying about, rusted swords, dented shield, and fragments of bone. We have a horse statue. Dedicated to the riders of Ther Thermor, valiant defenders of the commonwealth. Now, I don't know if it's a good idea to actually go through there. I find, I think a lot of the times I've died is because I went and checked through this place. Um, we can check in here. I think everything gets random loot in it. Got four gold pieces. All right, there's blood in here. Um, enemies can see you through windows, I believe. So if they see you, they'll come for you. All we have is a sword. We have no armor. No nothing. We have the uh, bones on the ground here. And I believe that salamander sauce. But we do have a shield now, which will greatly improve our chances of surviving. Could actually click on that. Alright, salamander. Now we got hit for more health than I wanted to. Foul beast. My real copper wand D702. I rest now with my husband. Why? Oh, okay. So more of them highlight. Gunther copper, copper wand. Time is erased. What was once written here? I wonder if he could get a shovel and dig that up at some point. Of all the things I've lost, I miss you the most. Kara D681. So that's obviously the most recent. We do have 
Salamander over here. It isn't aware of our presence yet. Bullshit. Is there a, like, a wait? Ring of Vigor, that would be useful. Hold on, let's attack him. Wonderful. Um, five hit points. I will take that. Not the best of, um... Things you could put on your fingers, but hey, it's something. Locked. Appears to be a quality warded lock made of iron. Um. See a keg of black powder. Ooh, that's not good. I think there's a way you could just attack these. Okay, that doesn't seem, uh. Like a good idea. I think we didn't take this lock picking skill, so I don't know exactly how we're gonna deal with those later. I'm pretty sure we checked this, right? I'm just gonna say we did, because I don't want to spend too much time. We checked. Oh, yeah, okay, we got the buck uh, shield from, um. Uh, from that skeleton. Yeah, another skeleton here. Brass ring. That is just loot. This is a reagent. What we could use. I have no idea what we could make. So, uh, this is where I'm going to go next. I feel like looting is going to be a little less um, necessary because if places are locked, we're kind of just fucked. Forty gold pieces, holy shit. That was pretty good. I like games like this. I wanna make a game like this. But I am not very what do you call it? I actually got started and it was looking pretty good. Um I'm not very com committal. I can't commit to actually doing the whole game. Do we read this sign? We probably didn't read this sign. This is the Minotaur. I'm sure some type of inn. Come at me, bro. Yeah, hit for two. Alright, I don't want to get attacked by too many salamanders. I see anything I'm hoping this chest isn't locked because uh, I would really like to get whatever's in this chest another brass ring the art of brewing beautiful this book covers the basics of alchemy within the pages you find descriptions of reagents and reactants mixing techniques for beginning how to tell when a potion has turned sour and how to improve the potency of certain concoctions by the end of the book, you feel as though your knowledge of alchemy has approved, improved. And I am sure that means we leveled up in alchemy. Let's check. Alchemy 3, holy shit. That almost sounded like two levels to me. I don't remember putting two in alchemy. That doesn't sound like, like me. We do have a thing out here. We'll go upstairs in a minute. Yep, gain two levels in alchemy. I could just, I could just looked at that. Um, I think we're as close as we can get to that, so it's just not opening for us. Yes. Ah, very refreshing. We get one hit point back. That wasn't very helpful. Um, I see a set of stairs going down. That means that is the only dungeon I really remember. But we're gonna go upstairs. There we go. Hmm. 
I'm not 100% sure if you m don't see some stuff. So let's, um... Take the shield off for now. Put on the torch. Honestly, uh, not helping very much. Just hoping you can um, loot some of those. Locked. Looks like a fairly complex steel tumbler lock. We should have took lock picking. Man, if you guys have played this game before, you're probably yelling at me. Uh, that is actually something I do kind of remember. Just a lot of lock picking. Okay, what does it look like when we start hitting, hitting this? Apparently that means we're never going to break this. Because we haven't even damaged it. Too bad. Okay, well there's a chest we could have got at and a nightstand table. I don't know if we should go into... I guess we could dip our toes into this uh, basement downstairs dungeon thing over here. I think that's basically all we're doing, because... Oh shit, there's a chest over there. But if that doesn't open... Alright, let's check that out really quick. I wonder if there's a way we could get the attention of just one salamander at a time. We could take a um, short rest or a health potion and then go at them again. Um, it looks like we got the attention of both of them. We are not. Our, uh, we are not. We had like a, have like a fifty percent chance to hit anything, and we got very unlucky on that one. Whoops. I don't know if you notice. I'm trying to move in a way that lets me have first attack or something. I don't know how you want to explain it, or how I should say it. Sealed urn. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Fuck you. Willow sap. And that. We might have enough to make a health potion. I think we're going way the wrong direction, by the way. I see a um, trail over there, so let's go back and check out the dungeon. Um, like I said before, or like what we read, if you rest with camping, you will have a chance of being attacked, and that is not good, obviously. I really hope somebody comes and uh, checks out this video and enjoys it, because this is a game I am actually enjoying. I actually bought this game, um, because it, I don't know, it tickles a sense of nostalgia, slash, it's not as, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. This gets like a certain spot that I was looking for. Um, that's when we level up. How do we do alchemy? Well, that's a question I'd like to know. Hmm. We don't have a vessel. I'm not going to burn a vessel. So, that's something we're going to need later on. I'm going to save this really quick. I 
feel like this is a terrible spot to camp, but let's camp. Oh, we don't have enough room to pitch a tent here. Rest. Okay, well that was worth it. We slept for almost 20 hours, so almost a whole day. Well, 16. And uh, we got all our hit points back, which is very important. All right, the smell of damp, musty earth fills your nostrils. Uh, maybe I'll change a different voice. The smell of damp, musty earth fills your nostrils as you descend the stairs in a, chilling a chilly cellar underneath the abandoned house. You see many long-legged spiders scurrying across the walls and ceiling. Not is. This is quite an elaborate thing, if I can recall, and I'm not 100% sure, but this might lock behind you. Alright, it doesn't look like it. Now, we have to decide if we want to use a torch or not. I guess torch it is because it's kind of dark in here. Right, we got another torch and a healing potion, which is be very necessary. Okay, it looks like you can't loot a lot of objects in this game. I will take this. That looks like a trap, doesn't it? I will not step on that. Broken wine racks and bottles lie everywhere. It appears that any wine of value has already been taken or unfortunately smashed upon the ground. Unfortunately is right. I'm not a wine person, let me tell you. Poor booze, come on, man. Not cool. Now, I could have swore there's a way to get over there. I don't know how you do it. Hmm. Upon stepping on this pressure plate, a section of wall to the southwest has opened up. This so honestly might be a place we might have to come back to. Alright, please let me get in here. Please have something good. A door key? To what? I don't know. <gasps> what if that's that spot upstairs? That would be nice. Probably not, though. At that um, one house that we were at that we needed to lockpick. Um, I see a bat. Yes, there is a little bit of a puzzle in the game here, by the way. I remember I got pretty far here one time. guys hit kind of hard. All right, we might have to go to the town. Yeah. We'll kill this guy. Go check that house. Then we might leave. It's a little much. Wait, right, there's a body there. All right, we'll check the body and then get the fuck out of here. 14 gold pieces. That was totally worth it. All right. 
Like I said, I believe this game is permadeath, so if you lose, you are dead and cannot continue on. So, care is um, needed when playing this game. And considering I am recording this instead of playing this on my free time, I'm going to be extra careful. Because how fun would that be if we went and died right away? Not very fun, right? To wear these and they might give you a bonus. Nope. It's not like, um, what is it? It's not like, um, Baldur's Gate. All right, let's complex tumbler lock. We got a key. Doesn't look like the key's working. I don't see the key. I mean, keys must go in a certain location or something. They could just go in like in a visit pouch or something, or just a key loop, and you just hold on to them. But let's go to. Let's go find the town. It said northeast. What the hell? No, oh, it's quick travel. I didn't even know that. I don't even know how I got there. It is located northeast of where you awoke. We awoke here, so we are pretty far off. Oh, I can hold it. This is Elder Hollow. And we're entering the South Parish. I almost would like to gather hit points again, but... Something tells me this is not the right way. Yeah, we're going the wrong direction, I believe. I would kind of like to get in there. Eat anus! Gold pieces and a skull. Value of five. I'll take that. Starting out, I could use anything. I don't see what happens when we do this. Nothing. Um, something tells me I had to go the other way. Keep this trail in mind. Hope we get our cartography skill up. I don't know if you, when you level up, if you have to choose. I'd hate to do that. To choose cartography. I mean, this is, tells us quite a bit, I guess. Oh, wait, we read the damn sign that tells us exactly what we need to know. Uh, northeast is Airedale, southwest is. Elder Hollow, that was down this way. Southeast is the Salted Coast. Yep, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Um, and we're going right into two of these guys. Whoops. Nice hit. Um, we're not feeling so hot, but I'm hoping that we're not too far away from where we need to go. And I just sign up ahead. Ooh. <gasps> we're here. Playing hint. There's a town sign nearby. Walk over to it and touch it to activate. Okay, whatever. That was obvious. Everdell. 
has been added to the quick travel menu. Airedale, oh, you are entering a village that is smaller than the deserted one you awoke in earlier. The streets appear to be mostly vacant, yet sounds of life could be heard within the walls of the buildings. You are hopefully at talking to the locals, and this town may help you make sense of your situation. So I'm going to end this episode here. I believe it's been about that time, especially with the character creation. Normally I split it up, but I don't think it took enough time to justify putting it into two parts. And I don't have enough time to edit multiple videos right now because I am very busy. I'm going to go right into the next one. So I will see you all shortly. If you liked Echelon, you want to see more in the future, make sure you leave a like. Or if you like any of the games uh, or in the videos that you watch, make sure you leave a like. It lets me know that you want to see more. Um, that helps me determine what you guys want to see. And... Uh, if you like what I do in general, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to leave any kind of feedback, comment, or just say hey, I will say hey back. See you later. Take care.